So Jen, as we leave the M6 on our way to Deford, we've left the Cambridge radio telescope uh, quite a long way back then. <laughs> yeah, um, we left Manchester even further back. We did. Just tell us why Cambridge is, is useful as a telescope, as part of the array. Right, so by adding the Cambridge telescope into the Merlin array, you increase the longer space lights to 217 kilometers. Uh, basically, with telescopes, the bigger the better when it comes to resolution, so the more yeah. detecting area you've got, the finer the detail you can see. And when we've got a 217 kilometer baseline, we effectively have a 217, 217 kilometer diameter radio pitch. Right. So by adding in Cambridge, you increase the resolution and it actually becomes comparable to the Hubble Space Telescope, which I think is pretty cool. So if you get an optical picture from the Hubble Space Telescope and you you get a radio image made with Merlin, you can put them one on top of the other and see yeah, that... Yeah, you can directly yeah. compare them, which makes the light look a lot easier. Very good. Well, we hopefully will get to Defford and get at least to be able to see the telescope, even if we can't get onto yeah, the one. Yeah, the, the Defford site is now next to a pretty crazy